It is a huge honor. We have had a very rough year in 2014 with uh, the changes in healthcare, and this has been a big boost to the staff's morale. Um, it's a public display of, you know, hey, we're a good ER, you know, we're doing good things, we're making positive outcomes. Um, and despite of everything that has been going on in healthcare in 2014, so it's a very nice way to show that we do do good things and it it does it truly does take the whole ER to do everything um, it takes a big teamwork effort uh, one person you know you can get a small group team together to write this application but it truly does take a true ER teamwork to get this lantern award done With the whole facility, they are very proud of the ER. They've recognized us through the hospital media. We've been recognized through boards throughout the facility. And it's just, again, it's a public display of, you know, saying, hey, we're the cream of the crop. We're one of the best hospitals. We are in the state of Indiana. We were the only the second hospital to get this award since its inception. So it is a very big honor. I think we had a lot to do over the past few years with um, implementing a new split flow model. We closed one ED and merged into a much larger emergency department and with that we had to rethink processes. And when, when we had to rethink processes we were like, okay, well we need to abandon the traditional model so we went to a split flow model so not everybody got a bed. Um, through that we had lots of RN and physician collaboration and that is still ongoing today, two, three years out after the merge. We've also had a decrease in their left without being stay. Uh, we were at 3% and now we're down to less than 0.1% with our left without being stay. So it's showing that we're doing good things, we're doing things to improve patient care and we're staying at it. It's not just a short time improvement, it's a long term improvement. Again, that RN physician collaboration, we're just continuing to go on with that. We've recently become stroke certified hospital, so we've done a lot with that decreased door to CAT scan times. We've also decreased our door to laboratory draw times and increasing our NIH stroke scale um, completion rate before the patients left the ER. And again, those are all things that we have done to and maintained to show that yes, we're, we're making changes to better patient care and we're doing it for the permanent, we're not just doing it to get an award.